viewers. Today we're looking at a fruit of the spirit called joy. We've got some super sweet scenarios to look at. See whether you can take a few of these examples home and live them out or perhaps do them differently. Let's take a closer look. <laughs> Come in. Greetings, neighbor. What ails you? Well, you see, <laughs> over the weekend, my favorite fish, Bubbly, died. <laughs> <laughs> he was my favorite fish. Oh, <laughs> oh, yes, yes, I did hear about poor Bubbly on the weekend. And I thought I'd make you a few cookies just to bring the joy back into your life. Oh, really? Oh. That's made me feel better already. You're really just putting a bit of joy back in my life. Thank you so much. I want it like I need Man, this video game is so old and boring. Just wish mum and dad had buy us the latest games, like Jimmy down the road hat. Seriously. And how about our TV? It's like the size of my lunchbox. So small. We had a giant TV like Petunia has down the road. Such a lame TV. Oh. Looks like mum's brought us a few nice healthy crackers. Yummy. Crackers. Healthy crackers. Man, why can't we eat Maccas every day like breakfast, lunch, dinner like Jacinta and that other guy down the road? Seriously, healthy crackers. Big brother, do you think we've got lots of things to be joyful about living here in Australia? Yeah, maybe. Well, I don't know if you thought about it, but we've got so much stuff here. We're lucky to even have a TV or be able to play video games or just even have food on the table. I guess. You know what the amazingly cool thing is? We can be joyful even if we didn't have any of that stuff because of what Jesus has done coming down and dying on the cross for us so we can be with him in heaven forever. Isn't that a cause for joy? Yeah, I guess you're right. Because we do have a lot of things to be joyful about and happy about and yeah, I think I agree. Jesus really is worth being happy and joyful about, isn't he? Thanks for pointing me in the right direction. Glad to help. <laughs> 